Hi guys! As I promised in my last video, today is another video of using holiday leftovers. So if you are like me and you buy a lot of nuts, a lot of uh, dried fruit during the holidays for different kinds of purposes, so making the snack boards, for making um, some desserts and for baked goods, then <laughs> you probably have some leftovers as I did. So I wanted to come up with something for which you can use different kinds of uh, dried fruit and also different kinds of um, nuts. So today I'm going to share with you my nut loaf recipe. Let's get started. Before we start with the recipe, I wanted to show you what I'm going to use for my uh, nut and fruit loaf. So these are the things that I have left over from uh, the holidays. I have uh, some figs and then uh, quite a bit of uh, dates. Then I thought that to these fruits, um, some hazelnuts and almonds would fit really nicely. So what you want to do is um, you can use leftovers, you can also use uh, something that you have in your home, you can also use something um, that you like, but the most the important thing is to kind of think of the fruit and nuts or the fruit and fruit um, together and think of the flavors. You can also just try all of them like a little bit together and think whether that's gonna taste good. And then we just want to chop this up. So what I did here is I just roughly chopped the dates and uh, the figs there. Then I also chopped the almonds also just roughly with a knife and I smashed the hazelnuts. That was <laughs> fun. So uh, you need a big knife, a wide uh, blade and then you just smash uh, the hazelnuts with a little bit of arm muscles and the blade of the knife. So then we want to start with the wet ingredients. So first the eggs. I have a medium bowl here and I'm just gonna add the eggs in there. And then you just want to shortly beat them just to break the structure. So that's enough. Then I'm gonna get the yogurt and add in the yogurt. I'm using natural flavored yogurt with 10% fat content. And then we just want to whisk in the yogurt. just until it's combined. Then I'm also adding in a little bit of brown sugar. If you want a sweeter loaf, you can also uh, use a little bit more sugar. You can easily even double the amount. I'm just gonna use this much because um, I don't want to I don't want to make it overly sweet and also I have sweetness from the fruit. So just going to combine the sugar as well and then I have my dry ingredients here measured so I have the all-purpose flour here with the baking powder and baking soda what I also added in is a little bit of cinnamon as you can see there's something dark in there but if um, if cinnamon is not your favorite spice or it does just doesn't fit the fruits that you're using then you can also use uh, vanilla instead so just giving that a short mix and then we are just going to start saving in the dry ingredients so I'm gonna start with about a half and then just mix those in Yeah. 
and just until it's almost combined and then adding in the rest and also mixing that in just until almost combined because we still have the almond meal to add in so when it's looking like this it's almost combined add in the almond meal also gonna swap to a spatula at this point and just fold through until it's all combined make sure you fold through the bottom because that's where the dry spots usually are or where your liquid ingredients can be kind of separately so make sure you fold through the bottom and then once it's looking nice and smooth like this so you have no dry spots it's all well combined that's when you can add in your fruit and nuts and then once again we want to mix those in so you just kind of fold in the fruits and nuts so they're well combined and kind of all over your batter and not just in one spot and once it's all nicely combined as you can see here so I have fruits and nuts all over my batter that's when you can grab your bread loaf tin and butter it well then I have my loaf tin ready what I've done I've buttered it and I also um, added this strip of parchment paper which goes along the bottom and that will help me to lift the loaf once it's baked um, it's not a must it's just something I like to do and it really helps and then I'm just gonna transfer my batter into the loaf tin and then I just want to even it out into the tin and then you just want to pop this in the oven and bake it according to the recipe As I mentioned in the recipe, you can use different kinds of fruits, dried fruits and also different kinds of nuts so you don't have to necessarily use exactly the same ones that I used for mine but you just want to make sure that the flavors kind of uh, fit together so that it, in the end it really tastes great. Um, I made mine this time with some dates, some figs, almonds and hazelnuts but I got an idea and I definitely want to try it out so next time I'm gonna make one with dried cranberries and dried apricots and probably I'm gonna use either hazelnuts or almonds because I still have some leftovers of those so I think that's gonna be a really delicious combination of flavors as well just wanted to share that with you so as I said try your flavor combinations and if you are really gonna enjoy them if they really work out then I would really want to hear of those as well so let me know what kind of um, 
combinations you used to make this loaf. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you found it useful and I hope you are going to be able to use some leftovers this way. If you did like this recipe, don't forget that thumbs up for support. And also, if you're new to my channel, then you can subscribe right now. And if you tap the bell, you won't miss any of my new recipes. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.